Hey guys, thanks for watching Double Charge. Today I'm going to show you in a short video about fuel injectors and how to choose what may be the correct CC when you're modifying your car. So I bought these 65 pound 700 cc injectors to replace my stock injectors of my 2015 V6 Dodge Charger. Now these injectors are good for roughly 525 crank horsepower. A lot of people you know don't know how to figure those numbers and they rely on either their mechanic or someone they know to kind of figure that out for them. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to choose the right injectors for you. Now before you choose which injectors you want you need to have a goal. What is the horsepower number you're shooting for and how are you going to achieve that? This is critical because the number of cc and pounds that you will need in an injector will depend on if you're going to go with a naturally aspirated engine or a boosted engine. The reason you know we, we all should know this before we even put a wrench to a vehicle is that boosted engines they desire more fuel. Now once you have your modifications figured out, you'll need to figure out exactly how much horsepower you're going to be at. Now if you're unsure, you might want to get with your mechanic and shoot with a little bit higher number than what you're expecting. And then you'll be on your way to achieving the correct injector size for you. So for an example, once you have a horsepower number in mind, you or your mechanic will most likely use this figure to find the correct CC injectors for you. Now how you're going to do that, you're going to take the goal horsepower and you're going to times it by 0 .50 for naturally aspirated engines and for boosted engines you're going to times it by 0 .60. Now remember this number or write it down because you're about to use it. Now to get your second figure, you're going to take the number of injectors, for an example if you have a four cylinder, most likely you're going to have four injectors. For six cylinder, six injectors, eight cylinder, eight injectors. Now you're going to times the number of injectors by 0 .80. Now you take both of those numbers and you're going to divide them. Uh, your first figure we'll just call A, your second figure will be B. So you're going to take A, which is your first number, and you're going to divide it against B, the second figure. And this will equal, let's just call it C for now. Now this number, C, should be the pounds per injector you should go with. Now you're going to take C and you're going to times it by 10.50. And this should be the injector CCs that you should go with. Now this might seem kind of crazy. However, the reason that we divide the number of injectors against 0.80 is that manufacturers are only required to maintain an 80% accuracy of the actual true output of the injectors. Now with that said, it's better to be safe than to end up with a melted block, melted pistons, blown heads, blown head gaskets, and many other things that could happen because your injectors were operating at the factory's acceptable 80%, which may not be enough for your car. Now you can also figure the total number of horsepower that each injector is good for. How you do that is you take C, which is the number you got for your pounds per injector, and you times this by 0 .80. Then divide it by 0 .50 for a naturally aspirated engine, or 0 .60 for the boosted engine. So I will call this answer D. This is the number of horsepower that each injector is capable of pushing out. Now you times this number by the number of injectors that you have, and that's your maximum horsepower that your combined injectors can handle. So one important thing to remember is that these figures are off the crank horsepower, not the wheel horsepower. If your wheel horsepower is close to the number that your injectors are rated for, be safe, don't blow up your engine, Go buy some more powerful injectors and get a good tune before you decide to hit that gas pedal again.
So in other words, don't starve your car. If she's hungry, feed her. Now just in the case that this was a bit complicated, I want to try and clear that up with some hands-on figuring. I'll show you with actual numbers and how I find the correct injectors that I use for my 2015 Charger, which is soon to be the world's fastest V6. Now if you just bear with me for a little bit, uh, I don't have all the software I need to run this through my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it with you. I have a printed piece of paper here and a clipboard. So what we're looking at right now is a, a goal horsepower of 500. So I got my goal horsepower written up there. Uh, so you take that horsepower, and that is crank horsepower by the way, and you times that by 0 .50 naturally aspirated or 0 .60 for a boosted setup. So I'm going with the boosted setup right now, so I'm going to take 500 times 0 .60, that'll give me an answer of 300. Leave that number there for right now. So now next, I'm going to take the number of injectors times 0 .80. So the number of injectors I'm going with today is six, since I'm obviously doing a six cylinder setup. Uh, so I'm gonna take six injectors times 0 .80, and that's gonna give me an answer of 4.8. Now I'm gonna take those two numbers, starting with 300, and I'm gonna divide 300 into 4.8, and this will equal C. And that's the pounds per injector uh, that we're gonna be using. So it would be at a minimum of 62.5 pound injectors that I'd need for their 500 horsepower setup. So next we're going to take C and we're going to times that by 10.50 and this will equal the CC's per injector that we're going to need at a minimum. So that number would be 656.25 CC's. Now we're going to do this a little different way just so you have it in case you ever need it, we're going to do horsepower per injector. So how we're going to do that is we're going to take C, which is the pounds per injector, and you're going to times that by 0 .80. Then you're going to divide it by 0 .50 for a naturally aspirated or 0 .60 for a boosted setup. Now that answer will be the horsepower per injector, which mine obviously is 83.3. Now to get the total horsepower of the whole engine, you're going to be looking at taking 83.3 and you're going to times it by 6, the number of injectors, and that will leave me with 500 horse. Now there you guys have it. Now you know next time you want to upgrade your fuel injectors, what kind of fuel injectors you might need. Now be sure to share this video with your friends and keep in mind to always ask a mechanic before you leap into modifying a vehicle. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can also support my channel by clicking the support button on your PC. Now thanks again for watching Double Charge, and see you guys next time.